it's me again. Dahlia, the, um, another activity I, I have on your sheet is called the spinal glant. It's a reflex activity. This one looks easier to do than it actually is because we want this one to go as slow as possible. I'm going to show you what it looks like. So you start out like you're going to make an angel in the snow. Legs are together, hands are at your side. We want to end up with our arms and legs out like this. So the legs only have to go this far, but the arms have to go all this way. So the, the legs have to move a little bit slower than the arms. Challenging part of this is to end up at the same time. So I'm gonna, when I say go, what I'm going to do is start moving my arms and legs. Here we go. Ready, set, go. Now it's going to look like I'm hardly moving. We want this to go as slow as possible. A good goal to start out as at is at least 15 seconds to open, 15 seconds to close. A real challenge is having this take close to a minute. So we want to keep the um, rate that we're moving pretty consistent. And I'm almost there. I bet I look gorgeous in this position. Here we go, just like that. Then we're going to hold it, and then we're going to close. Same thing. So if it takes me 15 seconds to open, I want it to take 15 seconds to close. I don't know if you noticed, but I had to turn my hand so that I could move it, which is totally okay. You want to end up at the same time. So what we want to avoid with this is when we start, if your mom says, okay, go Dahlia, we don't want to see this quick movement because now my legs are almost halfway there. So we, as soon as we start, the movement's nice and slow. I would practice this three times each day you do your activities. Um, let me know how slow you can do this. 15 seconds is a good start. Um, up to 60 seconds would be awesome. Um, let me know if you have questions on this one. Again, this one looks easier than it is, but I actually think it's kind of relaxing. Um, and then the last activity I had on your sheet was the, the Piaget workbook. Carrie, that's the developmental workbook. Each section is broken up into um, different skill areas like matrix, uh, levels, and it's, it's awesome. What I want her to do is do a set a day uh, or two if you have time, and then have her tell you why one answer is right and the other ones are incorrect. There's an answer sheet in there for you guys, for you or Wasim. Um, and I'm just curious if it's helpful to know um, for math if there's uh, some concepts that are a little more challenging than others. But Dahlia's awesome. I love you guys. And uh, let me know how things go. And here's Dr. Gordon. Good back to see you. And Aaron was our wonderful lunch. Aaron was our cameraman. <laughs>